Hey guys, it's me, Lauren Lapkus. On every episode of With Special Guest Lauren Lapkus, my guest is the host and I'm the guest. They plan everything in advance. They don't tell me anything. They tell me what my character is once we start recording. I don't know the topic. I don't know the premise. And I don't know who I'm playing until we go. She's the host, but she's always a guest. And the guest is the host, so she's not really the host. It's with special guest. Hello, Lab Guest, with your host, somebody else. Hello, and welcome to What Went Wrong. The podcast inspired by the movie and the book High Fidelity, where I talk to ex-girlfriends to try and figure out what went wrong. (laughs) All right, I'm Alex Pappas. I'm your host. This is episode 27. Episode 27, guys. Can you believe this? We are not getting anywhere. This is not great. I don't love it, but we're getting through it. Today's guest is going to be fantastic. Uh, I'm very excited to talk to her. She's somebody you've heard me talk about in previous episodes. Uh, But first, we're going to talk about a few emails, a few run-ins, and a pretty good date I had last week. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, It was my friend Greg's birthday last week, and a lot of you know that Greg dates uh, my ex, Holly. So, uh, of course, I ran into her, and it was pretty good. You guys will probably remember her from episode four. She was like a big girlfriend of mine and now is basically engaged to a good friend of mine. And that's like a whole situation because they are really in love, and they are like uh, successful at it. It's impressive. And they're there as the kind of hosts of this party, and it's all of our friends, and it's not a lot of people, but, um, you know, we're, I mean, this is years ago, so, you know, that we went out, so it's it's pretty normal between us, but like in instances where they're just so clearly demonstrating their love, it is difficult for me to kind of relax, I guess. So that was weird. Uh, Holly and I had a, a, a pretty good conversation. Uh, I didn't say anything about the episode. I didn't bring anything up about how you guys didn't like her, but it was like a good conversation. Uh, so that I felt really good about. Um, I got an email from Kate, episode 17, Kate, uh, Irish Kate, uh, everybody called her on the boards. Um, she was great. It was a good email. She, it took her a while, but she said she finally listened to the episode and she really liked it. Um, but that, you know, if I wouldn't mind, you know, not kind of reaching out to her more or any of that kind of stuff. So I feel like it was a, a email that was a little bit of a mixed bag. It was like positive in the sense that she liked the episode, which I was stoked about um, because she'd made a big deal about how she was never going to listen to it. Um, and afterwards was like, you know, I know I talked to you guys about it uh, in the shows afterwards that she was very upset about how it had gone down and some of the stuff that had been brought up and that I, you know, read a bunch of her emails on the air and you know, all that stuff, all that stuff she was bummed about. But she turns out, not that I'm right, but, you know, like, turns out that she read the, she listened to the episode and, and, and dug it. And, and that kind of made me happy. But, you know, then again, you know, doesn't want to talk to me anymore, blah, blah, blah. So I get it. Kind of 50-50 on that one. Um, texted with some people this week. You know, I met a girl at a party a couple of weeks ago. I'm not going to say her name yet because I don't know if it's going to turn into anything. But it was cool. Like, she's funny. And she sends, like, funny, like, memes and, you know, like, she's, like, sends funny stuff. So, like, I don't know, promising, maybe, who knows. Um, uh, I'm I'm loving getting fan love. I love that you guys, like, uh, are seeing me out and about and are, like, saying, hey, we love the show, you know, uh, blah, 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 and all that stuff. And, and and, you know, I shouldn't like it, but, like, I love that a lot of you guys are taking my side, you know. Uh, That's, like, really important to me, even though it shouldn't be. You know, like, my therapist says it doesn't matter matter who's right or who's wrong. It doesn't matter. Like none of that should matter. But like, I like that a lot of you guys, especially like some girls coming up to me in bars and stuff and just being like, I listened to that episode. You know, you were right. She was wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. I'm sure plenty of you could walk up to me and tell me that I'm uh, an absolute idiot. Right. But sure. (laughs) I mean, like that, it's totally possible, but you know, I'm glad to be getting a little bit of fan love. Um, So I mentioned that I had a date last week. Uh, I had a pretty great date last week, you know. Um, 
friend of a friend, really cool, uh, really cool girl. Uh, she is like, uh, you know, I'm not going to say what she does or anything, but like, she's a pretty rad girl. We had a fun night. Um, we went to, um, uh, the Harry Potter world at universal, which was awesome. Um, I don't know if you guys are, are into Harry Potter as much as I am, but like everything there is like so cool and so interesting. And the great thing that they did is that they've spread out all of the Potter worlds all over the world to be different parts. So there's a Hogwarts, there's a uh, there's a, a Hogwarts Express train, there's the train station, there's Diagon Alley, there is like everywhere you go, there's different stuff. So she was, you know, very into it. She's younger than I am. So like she read the books like when she was a kid. Um, and, you know, I read them, you know, when I was an adult, um, uh, you guys know I'm, I'm 40, I'm 43 years old, you know, um, you know, single. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dating, you know, you know, ages that are sometimes younger than me, sometimes my age, you got, oh, sometimes older. You guys know Pam, you know, Pam episode, uh, episode 11, Pam, uh, six years, my senior, Right. Uh, that was a that was a great episode. Very. A lot of people very uncomfortable by the sexual content of that episode. So I will say again, I'm sorry for that. Um, but uh, anyway, back to the date. Harry Potter World. Then we went out. We went out for uh, sushi, which was great. Uh, great conversation. Really funny, but like not too funny. Uh, it was like a really great time. We had like so we had just like we super connected, super connected. Uh, I, I drove her home. Um, you know, like I went for a kiss. She kind of pulled away a little bit and I kind of read that and was like, okay, she's not into that. Maybe I'm, you know, too fast or something. So, you know, I gave her a high five and then we were like done, you know, and it was perfect. It was like a perfect date. I felt like it went great. Uh, we've been texting ever since. And I feel like that's pretty sweet. Like, I feel like that might turn into something. I haven't heard from her in a couple of days, but I feel like it's going to like turn into something maybe serious. Maybe guys, the podcast might end. Guys, the podcast might end. If I fall in love and it works, the podcast might end. And I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, but that's just like, if the podcast does its job, then it, it de facto has to end. You know what I mean? That's, that's, the, that's, that's my hope. That's my hope is that eventually we get into a zone in which I am healed and I am whole and I am able to accept love into my life and to give love. And doesn't that sound like exactly what we're all looking for? And that's what I feel like a lot of you are probably here, you know, trying to figure out for yourselves, you know? And that's why I'm, I'm glad that I get to like, I just am glad I get to be a part of it. Um, so uh, I'm going to wrap this part up. All right. What went wrong? Episode 27. I'm here with... You look great, by the way. Oh. Thank you for doing this. Um, you guys have heard me talk about her. <clears throat> her name is Louise. I call her Lulu. Uh, everybody does. Uh, I did, it wasn't a nickname I made up, but everybody calls her Lulu. Um, you guys have heard me talk about her, um, uh, let me see, probably in the Heather episode because they did not like each other. Um, and also in the Pam episode, uh, I believe you were mentioned. I don't yeah. know if you've listened. Do you listen to the show? Um, I don't listen to it, but I do follow the board sometimes okay. yeah. uh, just to see. I'm sure people are like, if you get mentioned, I'm sure people are like tweeting at you or whatever. I mean, I've, I've never really gotten a tweet about it, okay, but I've cool. looked at your board. I'm kind yeah. of like, you know. You're like, a lurker. Yeah, I get into that. <laughs> you know, I look at your Instagram. I mean, you know that. I like, sure. I like your stuff. So No, no. I mean, I, I still, I like, well, I check what, I, what you're up to constantly. And I, and I love it. You know, I love, I love, cause I feel like we're, we're still like friendly. Yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, we get along. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. Like I, it was so long ago for me. Like yeah. I don't really like, I'm just not really worried about, you know, those feelings popping up for me or anything like totally. that. Totally. Oh, like, at this point, yeah. like, I feel like all that, which is nice, you yeah. know, it's nice to get it out of your system yeah. and be like, okay. You know, I don't think this is right. Yeah. We're not in love. We're not falling in no. love. But. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. you were very clear. Yeah. Like 100%, which yeah. I uh, so appreciated. At the time, I know I said like a lot of shitty things and was very mad at you. Yeah. But like I recognize all of it to be like uh, my truth in that moment. And my truth is very important to me. 
You know what I mean? Like my experience yeah. and my truth. I respect that, but, but I But like feel... now I see that like not all of it was cool. It wasn't generous of me. Right. Like you were kind of a dick. Like Totally. I mean, you said stuff that really like uh just was really just to hurt my feelings. Like it wasn't really I really I went after you. You know, I went after you and I feel bad about it. And that's part of the reason I wanted you to come on the show. Yeah. And that's part part of the reason, honestly, why like um I've not said this to you prior to this is because I wanted to do it on the show and you haven't wanted to, but like, I'm sorry. Wow. Like, I'm sorry for a lot of the stuff I said. I'm sorry. Like this show is teaching me. One of the things this show has taught me and is teaching me even now is that like, I need to like take responsibility for my actions. Do you you really feel like you're, I need to apologize to you. I need to make amends. Well, like I appreciate that. I just feel like, like reading the boards. I don't know. Do you read the boards? Uh, I mean, yeah, of course. Like, okay, because I feel like people are kind of like, as well, like, I know people are on your side a lot of the time, but, mm-hmm. like, I feel like there's also, like, you know, sub-threads where people are kind of saying, like, you're not really taking your own advice. Like, with each episode, you're not really growing. Like, you're not really making the changes that you're saying. I know, but, like, haters gotta hate. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's like, is it a hater or it's is like it— trolls. You know, yeah, It's like trolls. You know, it's like trolls. I don't know. I think there's a difference between trolls and, like, people who are kind of, like, really actually actively listening to your show and, like, sure. you know, kind of seeing, like, oh, are you really doing the things you're saying? And, you know, and that's, like, yeah, I'm trying. Am I, yeah. Am I, I mean, like, listen, Lulu, am I perfect? No. no. Of course not. Right, no. You know, but, like, am I striving towards perfection? I am. I'm, tr- I'm really Good. trying. I mean, so am I, man. So am I. I know. Why, like, and I'm you're in my doing... yoga studio. It's going really That great. is awesome. And, like, I want to give you an opportunity at the end to plug it. Thank if you. you want, you know, like, that'll, obviously, that'll let people know exactly who you are. So if you want to maintain some anonymity, you know, you don't have to. But, like, that's, it's totally open for you to plug if mm-hmm. you want. You look great. Your Thank body you. is, uh, forgive me, I hate to say it, but, like, is rocking. Well, okay. Thanks for looking at it um i do work on it a lot obviously I'm how could sure. i know you're wearing like yoga pants and like a, like a, a a t-shirt or some tight fitting shirt it's, it's just, like yeah. it's perfect it's like great you look phenomenal uh thanks i mean yeah i teach you know four classes a day and wow. i got also my own and i fit, fitness was something that got became really important to me after a relationship actually like um kind of just like the way that we were so sloth like together like yeah. I, it was very unhealthy for me and totally. like, i just felt like i cannot be like this anymore and we so, were like our whole thing was was just like on the couch, getting stoned, mm-hmm. watching TV, eating our faces off. That's what we did. Yeah, and I think you really kind of like led the charge on that. You oh, know what I sure. mean? Like yeah. I, I had never smoked weed until we got together. Is that true? Now, I know you said that, but I never believed it. Yeah, Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I was always afraid, you know. Wow. Just really afraid. Well, you took to it, you know, like a fish to water. You know, like you loved it. Do you still, are you still like smoking that Smoking that herb? No, you know, I don't do anything uh, like that. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Wow. Yeah, wow. I'm just completely clean. Uh, clean living is my whole, you know, MO. Yeah, well, that's the that's the yoga, huh? Well, yeah. How cool. How yeah. that, That's so interesting. Good yeah, for you. Yeah, do you still smoke? Oh, yeah. No, totally. You know, I mean, but like not as much. Yeah. You know, not, not as much and not to as much excess because, you know, like as I get older, I find that it it, it impacts me and it influences me in more and more negative ways. I got like about, uh, listeners know, and so forgive me for repeating repeating an old story, but I had like um, a series of terrifying panic attacks in a Target a couple of years ago that really, uh, that really were a wake up call for me. Mm-hmm. It was like a cascading spiral of panic and, uh, and fear that uh, induced kind of hallucinations in a, in a Target. And I got, uh, not arrested, but he put in you know, I, like under, you know, like custody. I, they, they brought me, in, you know, yeah. like they put me in the back of a cruiser and, you know, I wasn't arrested. I just want to say, but like I was, you know, brought someplace and it was a real wake up call for me, you know? Yeah. And every since then I've smoked like a little less and it's good. It's yeah. good. But I'm still, you know, you know, I was just having a lot of like paranoia. I was thinking people are trying to get me. You yeah. Know? I will. I, yeah, I think that you kind of always had like little things like that. Yeah. You, you would often like, we'd be hanging out and watching TV and you'd be like, someone at the door. And I'm like, I didn't hear anything. And then you kind of like, wouldn't let it go. Go look through the peephole, yep. look through the window. And it doesn't help that sometimes there is someone at the door. Yeah, you know well, what I mean? Because I mean, like, sometimes we would have ordered Thai food and forgotten entirely. And then, you know, you hear a little knock and you're like, oh, fuck, what's that? Is somebody at the door? And then, like, you freak out. You don't know what to do. And then you go to the door and there is someone there. Right. So that's kind of precedent setting right. for paranoia. And that's, you know, that's, that's a real problem when you're paranoid is, like, those few instances where it is true makes the ones that it's not true seem like they could be true. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Like, I mean, and you can, like, kind of excuse your behavior away. Like, I feel like you're someone who, like, and 
Look, I've definitely let bygones be bygones. Like, I don't really care. Oh, like yeah, like no. I said, like, our relationship is, like, so it's whatever. so good. Yeah. And, like, I don't really care about, like, what went wrong in our relationship. But, like, you know, you are someone who just, like, you create a lot of problems in your life. Like, yep. you are kind of, like, someone who just, at least that's how I knew you. And, I mean, like, look, we hang out, like, really platonically now. and like Which is, I love. Me too. You it's know? Good. We went for a hike. Yeah. Which was terrific. Yeah. You know, which I really had a great time. Yeah, it was good. I mean, yeah, it was fun. It was great. Um, it was fun. Let me ask you this, and I ask everybody this, and it's, you, you might not know just because, you know, this is where it's the name of the show. But, Lulu, what went wrong? Like, what exactly went wrong? Yeah, like, what was it that made you, because I'll be honest, and I've, you people have heard me talk about it, like, you blindsided me. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought we were in it, you know? Yeah. like, And you... You really, like, rocked my world, you know, both in bed and then in this instance where you broke my heart. Right. um, I think. Um, So, like, what went wrong? I mean, it was like, you know, I blame myself for a lot of what happened in our relationship. Interesting. Not because you, like— I think you might take that as a compliment, but, like, I, it's actually the opposite. Like, I feel like I saw so many red flags with you that I was just, like, letting him go, letting him go. Because I was just, like, he's really good looking. He's really fun. But then, like, you know, there were just things that, like, I couldn't – I should have seen as bad signs. Like, the fact that, like, you know, three out of five times I'd sleep over, you'd sleep in your car. Sure. Like, I don't know. Like, I guess I should have been, like, well, that's really weird. Well, but- that just started for <laughs> – that started first as I felt bad that I was snoring and it seemed like it was keeping you up. It was, yeah. Um, and then and then it just turned into like being very comfortable in the car, you know, like and you know when you find like a way to sleep that just works for you. Yeah. Because I mean, to be fair, and again, I'm not trying to excuse my behavior because we should have been spending more time together. But even like even for months after we had, afterwards when we were broken up, I would still sleep in the car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that was for me. It's something comforting, and I'm yeah. not sure why. Maybe I was trying to run away from something, yeah. or maybe I didn't want to face something, or something about your physical proximity made me so uncomfortable at times um, that I would wake up thinking I might hurt you or thinking you might hurt me, or I didn't know. You know, it's that same thing of, like, the, what we were talking about before, the paranoia, is, like, sometimes you wake up and you think someone's in the room. Yeah. And sometimes I would, Lulu, and that person was you. And that was terrifying. But like I wasn't going to do anything bad. To of course. You. Of course, but when you wake up you don't know. It's fight or flight. It's fight or flight. And you know, so at some point flight. I just go to the car, get my sleeping bag. Boom, I'm out. And I I'll sleep a solid 9 hours in the car. Yeah, I know. I know. Front seat. I- uh, uh uh passenger side uh, uh reclined about 45 degrees. That's my jam. Look, I, there were many times where I'd be knocking on the window and you wouldn't even stir. Oh. Like I the, mean, I'll I'll say this. The the acoustics in this car are so good. Like they are, it is such a quiet car. You know, you close those doors and it is like you are removed from the world. And I'm not going to say what kind of car it is just because I don't want to give uh, like any kind of product placement to the to car companies or anything because, you know, it, car companies are basically killing us all with the fossil fuels that they're using. But whatever, suffice it to say, like the car is quiet. Sure. Sure. I mean, yeah, you you love that. I mean, whatever. And that was like, you know, just. But one that was thing. a red flag. You it was saying. a red flag. Like, I mean, like I told my friends about it, and they were just like, That's your friends so- did not like me. Well, no. I mean, like, you know. I remember a number of instances of them not liking me. Well, like, okay. Well, I guess you know why Allison didn't like you. I mean, you called her on her birthday and told her off. Cause I look, and that's like probably on me too, because I've been talking shit about her, and like I've been having problems with her, but like. You know, I didn't need you to, like, call her and do that. You, it, know? you weren't going to do it. You know what I mean? And when you are seeing someone that you think you might love be so mistreated by someone else, you want to do something. And you know, and listeners know, I have, like, just like I f- have panic attacks, I have rage. I have, like, I have real uh, sh- shocking Rage that is, I'm not proud of, but it is always, uh, I, I can't plan it and I don't know where it's coming from. And for some reason, that Allison, you told me about Alice, something that she said to you, and that made me, that like flipped a switch in me. Yeah, I know. You went and I didn't crazy. know it was her birthday when I called her. I, for, just so people know, I didn't set out to ruin her birthday. I mean, yes, I yeah. did. And I, I have apologized to her, just so you know. 
Um, but uh, I anyway, sorry. So, yeah, uh, no, my friends didn't like you. I mean, you know, you're very Well, aggressive. that bitch, I knew why she, I'm sorry, that girl, I know why she didn't like me. But, like, I felt like, um, I felt like your sister didn't like me. No. I know. Um, uh, well, she, at the time, I mean, I don't, I, I, I know you're not still doing this job, but, like, the job that you had two years ago uh, was not respectable um, to my family. That wasn't really what they wanted for a partner, you know, for me. Like, yes. Um, no, well, a lo- and a lot of people know that I sold weed for a long time. I've, to- I've talked about that. Yeah. I don't do it anymore. Uh, but that that was, that was a, 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 a quote-unquote job that I did. And, I mean, uh, you know, I didn't – I guess I shouldn't have told them everything, but, like, you also – but Primarily, you're so honest. I am. And that's, I which mean, is what I love about you. Thank is you. that you are like an honest person, you know? Well, yeah. You're not ha- a liar. No, I'm not. You know? I'm not. And, like, I had to tell my family that, you know, you sell weed and that you typically will go to strip clubs and sell to the girls who work there and sell to the guys who go there. And well, like, they all want it. And so once you get once you have an in at one of those, well, I don't need to get into the mechanics of this, but once you get in on a place like that, you can just upsell to so many other people because everybody there is looking for an escape. Look, I know you're a businessman. Like, I know you had, like, a good mentality behind it, and there was, like, like kind of smart plan there. Oh, like, yeah. And, know. I mean, it also allowed us. It, I made good money. It allowed us. We, we went to Malibu mm-hmm. one weekend to yeah. the beach. That was a very fun weekend. It was awesome. Um, where else? Did we go someplace else? Were you yeah. Palm Springs? No, sorry. Um, what the fuck? Were you Palm Springs? No, <laughs> that's not how, yeah, that's not Like, you I mean. really don't remember our relationship? I, like you, I totally do. You were in love with me. You just said, by the way, I wanted to go back to something you said. Yeah. You said someone you think you might be able to love. That I thought I could love. Yes, yeah. okay. That is, uh, the. that is like, you are just rewriting history at this point because you the moment we met you were in love with me you you were obsessed with me you basically made me be your girlfriend right away and you know you were like talking about marriage and all that shit like immediately okay that is 100% true uh, but with the caveat in hindsight being that I think I was putting a lot of Heather energy into you you know, Heather, like, man, I don't Heather, want to hear about Heather I know, ever and again. That's, because that is like the, one of the biggest problems for us was the fact that when we met, I was just breaking up with Heather or mm-hmm. she just breaking up with me. And then and then I was I just poured it all right into you. Those yeah. are the problems that I see that were real. Yeah. You and Heather uh, did not like each other. No. And a lot of people, uh, a lot of people on the boards, a lot of people, you know, a lot of the fans, they hate Heather. Um, and I, and I, and that's whatever, that is what it is. Uh, but I want you to say, like, for you, like, what was it about Heather that you didn't like? Okay, well, um. Or what was it about me that you didn't like in relation to Heather? I don't want to throw Heather under the bus just because sure. she was, like, the worst. There was a lot about Heather that I didn't like. I mean, for one thing, you kind of came in with a ton of baggage from Heather. Sure. And like, you know, every— She cheated on me constantly, which is why I wanted to be with you all the time. Right. I mean, look, you got cheated on. I understand you were really, like, you were sensitive after that. You were very vulnerable. Oh, yeah. Everything was really, you know, you were really— wor- And that's part of your paranoia, I think, is that you kind of— Absolutely. Always thought something was going to be Again, but I had reason to. You oh, know, yeah. like, that was the thing is— but All paranoia is is predicated on a, 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 a kernel of truth, you know, like well, a, 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 some precedent-setting the event that, that leads you to believe that might happen again. Sure. I'll, I'll give you that. But, you know, she— So, like, you know, you kind of talked about her all the time, but— the other thing was, like, she actually, I don't know what, I don't know if she was not over you, I don't know what her deal was, but, you know, she wouldn't let leave me alone. Yeah, well, you guys were also roommates at the time. Yeah, but I mean, you know, there's that, but I, I really like to separate it because I feel like our relationship was so separate from, like, my relationship with Heather, and like, it wasn't true. even about you being, like, her boyfriend, like, that it's wasn't so even. It's so weird you say that, because even when Heather and I were together, I don't even remember you. Right, like, Barely. We, didn't, we didn't even talk, and we, then, like, I actually got to know you from... I don't know. I guess the I guess that the Santa Monica Cafe that we both oh, go to, yeah. and we went to a lot at the time. I guess, and so I kind of just knew you from there more. That and Richie's birthday. Oh well, yeah. Richie's I mean, well, birthday is where it all happened. I feel like. Well, because that's where we had our first kiss. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't know. I kind Which of, was, by the way, a great kiss. Well, yeah. I mean, it kind of it's on my top ten for sure. Like okay, I would say top five, but t- I'll take top ten. Great. Well, cool. Um, but yeah, you know, she's a, I would say, uh, she's a bitch. Uh, I think she's a piece of shit. I mean, like, I mean, I don't, I can't really hold back about her. I, I really, really hate her. Yeah. Um, she sent me, uh, a, a, well, she paid a lot of money to have like a telegram sent to my house. Um, huh. like, those are really expensive now, I guess. Cause okay. like, 
Uh, no one uses them. So she had like a, a singing telegram or just like a regular like telegram telegram. It was um, a telegram that was read aloud by a man. I don't okay. know. It wasn't singing, but um, yep. he had to open it and read it to me. Uh, and basically it was like all about how I was, you know, fucking her boyfriend and all the shit. I mean, it was really just oh, calling please. me out. And this man, the stranger is just looking at me and reading this stuff to me. Like and, she dumped me. Like yeah. cheated on me, dumped me, and then would call me and text me constantly about you. Like about you as yeah. if like you had stolen me or I was cheating with you or something right. when like she was already like, uh, uh, um, um, what's the guy's name? Uh, he is like, he, I think it's, Ken, is it Ken? Ken, he's the guy like, she ended up. He's in the touring version of Sugar Ray right now. Yeah. Like she started fucking that guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, but she's mad at us for like basically falling in love. Like, and I, I mean, look, yeah, our relationship was very intense, like right away. I, I don't know that I was ever actually in love with you. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I don't mean to hurt your feelings with that. No, but like no, I you, can hear it. Yeah, you were for sure in love with me. I feel like you made that very clear. I think I was also like in love with Heather and just put like kind of like just pushing that into you. you I know? mean, I guess, but like, but you like, know. no, no doubt. Like not to take away from the fact that like I for sure was like had like super strong feelings for you. Yeah. And was on its way to like true love. Okay. You know what I mean? But you know, you're you're a hopeless romantic. Like I feel like you I kinda, really am. You think everything's on its way to true love and like, you know I wanna believe that. You yeah. know, like I, I believe so much in love and, and, and but I just am I'm always just like missing the mark. Yeah, you know? well look, I'm gonna tell you, I, I heard your intro about your date that you went on recently. Mm. Um sounds good, right? The- She's twenty four. <laughs> She's cool, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 honestly, the only weird thing is it's not even that weird. She had adult braces and that was like weirded me out that we were like at Universal City and she had braces. You right, know what I mean? It's like you're taking your stuff Made her seem much younger. Right. The environment plus the adult braces made her seem much younger than she was. I, I So mean, I got it next time. That's, but that's for me. Like next time, take her to an adult place. Totally. I mean, and like maybe like don't give her red wine or something. It might get really gross in there. Good call. I don't know. But like, Good call. I feel like, you know, what I heard from that, like regardless of like her braces or like whatever's wrong with her, you, she didn't want to kiss think she you. she might be the one. Okay. You gave her a high five at the end of the day. It was, it, but like, yeah. Yep. And for me, like, first of all, that's your go-to in a way that's really upsetting. Um, you gave my mom a high five when you met her, which mm-hmm. was really strange. She was, she went in for a hug. You stopped it, went back. But that know. was for you. Why? I didn't want you to feel like, you know, cause we had that thing where I accidentally hit on your sister because I didn't realize it was your sister. And I didn't want you to think that I was trying to like be physical with your mom. I would never think that. Okay. Well, I mean, but that's just like what I'm saying. That's just what that was. My mom is like, 70 and a lesbian, which I had told you. Of course. But like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I just wanted to be respectful, basically, because I had already blown it. I knew I'd blown it, you know, with you to a degree. Well, it was super weird. And basically, when I heard that about your date, I was like, it's not going to. She's not into you. Like, you you know, you don't don't really have a sense for that. I think she's pretty into me. She texts me like twice a day. She does? Like a real text and a joke text, usually. What did she text you today? Is she texted you at all? Yeah. Okay, let's fire it up. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, well, no. The, okay, the last text is, okay, well, okay. So the last text is from two days ago. Um, uh, and it is, okay. So it is a link to um, that Damn Daniel video. What's that? Oh, it's like this viral video from a couple of months Daniel. ago that is so funny. I got it again with the white <laughs> And we were talking about it on our date, and so she sent it to me. Damn, Daniel. Okay, but like, you Like know. two days ago, which is like a couple of days after the date, so it's still on her mind. Look, that's good. Because I'd sent her a long text about how connected to her I felt, and how it was like really great that we had found each other, and blah, 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 and I, how many great idea, ideas I've got for a next date, to this, that, and the other. And then she sent me the video. Just that was, a link. That was the link. Yeah, the, you know, you click on it, and it goes to the, it plays the video. I know what a link is. Damn. Yeah, you know, just for the listeners um, that, you know, and then from there, I was like, oh, look at this. We're like, boom, boom, boom. You know, like we're so connected. Like she's quoting like the conversation we had from the date. Sending a link is not a quote. Like that's like she's doing her homework. Like you asked for a quote or for the link and she forgot to send it to you. And then she sends it, you know, a couple days. Oh, yeah. How thoughtful. 
How Look, thoughtful. You're, you're sweet. Like, and I got to give you credit. Like, I feel like, you know, you let me get away with a lot of bullshit because you're so nice. And I, I think of myself as a really honest person and I really try to like be my best self, but I'm not always perfect. And I definitely did my own things in a relationship that weren't great. And, you know, you're very forgiving. You're a very forgiving guy. Like, it's actually amazing. Like, you know, you stayed with Heather a long time after she had cheated on you a bunch. Oh, like, yeah. I gave her like... Five, six chances. Yeah. So, I mean, look, you, you, you're a great guy. And I, I Thanks, hope there Lulu. is someone who will, like, see that in you and, like, really like it. I, I don't— Lulu, I don't. that is a perfect segue into our next segment. Oh, great. Okay? This segment is called Take Me Back. Okay. What's the premise? The, the- premise is, like, we should be together. Are you um, talking to me? Yeah. You and I, and just so you know, this segment doesn't always occur. Okay, because I didn't know if this, this was segment like a doesn't always occur. It, it it has occurred before, but okay, so it's special, but, but rarely. Uh huh. And this one is like very meaningful. Um, okay. You matter to me. You are someone who changed me for the better. One of the reasons I'm doing this show is because of our relationship and how much. It meant to me and how much it means to me now that we have like a friendly uh, relationship, you know, and that what if after all I've learned now from all the episodes, from all the conversations I've had, what if I am now able to be the person that I couldn't be when you broke up with me um, a a year and a half ago? (sighs) Why not give it another chance? Okay. Think about it. Okay. You don't have to, like, just really let that sink in. I don't have to answer now. I mean, you do, but, like, just let it sink in. Okay. um, Just don't give me, like, a knee-jerk reaction. Like, give it a thoughtful think. Right. Right. Okay. Let your your brain percolate on it, like an old coffee maker that we would find at the Rose Bowl flea market on a Sunday on one of our dates. We went there once. Which was amazing. What a great day. It was fun. Yeah, we found that towel rack. Yeah. Look, um, I don't feel like, you know, we're supposed to be together. I feel, like, you know, I, I, I really meant what I said when, like, I said that, like, I was totally over you and that, like, our relationship from that point doesn't really mean much to me at this point. Like, it was a, a kind of a blip in terms of my relationships. Like, I went on and had, like, an amazing, you know— Nine month relationship after that, that was like really, really meaningful uh, with my boyfriend uh, who passed. And like, you know, we have talked about that. And like, I don't know, like, you know, what I'm not, I'm ready to date actually. Um, it's Great. Been, but I'm not. Because I was there before and I can be there after. But I'm not. So that like, I don't have to be the blip. But I'm not ready and to if, date. You. If anything, I'm not ready to date. If you. anything, the guy who passed can be the blip. In between He's not us. A blip. He's the best thing I, I was supposed Great. to Great. Oh, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to take anything away from uh, uh the dead guy. I'm just trying to say like uh, you, I can bookend a tragedy in a great way. Right. You know, I can come at this and I can help you heal. Uh just I, because a lot of the, I'm in therapy now. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm in okay. therapy, which is terrific. Good for you. You know, I go twice a month and it's great. Twice That's a month for 30 minutes and it's go so more. good. Go more. He, he won't let me. Why? It's just that he's in network and there's a, he's very busy. So okay. I can't get in. I tried. I can't get in anymore. Okay. But point being, I'm like so much more self-aware. I'm so much more able to, uh, to be there for you and recognize. I now recognize that you are your own person. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like you're not just not an extension Heather. of me or you're not like, you know, like I realize more and more that you are like, that you have needs that I need to fulfill and that it was probably wrong for me to sleep in the car so much when we were dating. Yeah. Like, all that stuff is going to change if you take me back. Uh, like, my instinct is to say no, but I, I guess I'm wondering, like, do you feel like, um, you know, your lifestyle could adapt easily to mine, which is very healthy now and very, like— um, Oh, yeah. Oh, I love, I love where you're at. You know, like, I'd love to do, you know, one of your yoga classes and see what that's like. I'd love to stretch more. Why don't you come to a class? yes. Okay. Great. And okay. Wait. Great. That's it. And we'll see. You know. Okay. For, we'll, we'll just we'll see each other more. I I feel like I'm doing it again. Like I should not. Ooh, I just know that this is great. I I'm, I know that you're you're not good for me, but um for some reason I feel um impelled to see you again. So. Whatever. I. You know what? Let's not say anything more about it. Let's just. I'm going to come to a class. 
Okay. And you know, it's it's you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And 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 that's this is I'm gonna say this is very exciting. This yeah. this is very exciting. Um, can I plug my class uh, on your show? Of course. I, Pl- please studio? plug your yoga studio. Uh, my studio is called uh, Lulu Lemon. Okay. Um, but it's all spelled differently, so you sure. can just kind of go figure that out yourself. Okay. Um, Google however you want to spell it, and then well, it's the French lemon, isn't it? L I M O N. Exactly. Yeah. Lulu Lemon. Yeah, that's um, great. Yeah, that's so good. Just so people can Google it. Thank you. you know, or Bing it, whatever yeah. they're using. Use Bing. Uh, that's actually the only search engine that will find it. Okay, um, great. But uh, yeah, so I kind of teach there like most days of the week, and um, yeah, I mean, look, the classes are twenty dollars. Um, come to a class. You look amazing. Thank you. You look amazing. Amazing. These are all ex- extensions. It's not my. Regular. Is it really? Yeah. Oh my god, that yeah. is. So, I would. You, I would never have known. I don't know why I told you. It that. looks like your hair. Thank you. It looks just like your hair. I should have let you believe that. I don't. No, know. no, it's fine. I, I mean, it doesn't take away anything away from like the true beauty that you are. Oh, thank you. Wow, this has gone great. Has it? I, I no, feel. I, I'm I feel worried. so good. I feel so good about where we're ending. I feel so good. I feel like we put a lot of stuff to bed. I feel like yeah. Heather. We. I feel like we. We. I feel like we exorcised the demon that was Heather between us. Can we like it when we talk when we see each other? Can we never talk about her again? Like can Happily. we just never Happily. say her name again? I almost never talk about Heather except for every time I'm in therapy. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and on the show, just because yeah. she was such a part of like this part of my life. But otherwise, I never talk about Heather right. anymore. Like, and I don't. I like none of that stuff. I don't. I don't look at any of her social media. I don't go by her house anymore. I don't do any of the stuff that like. Was I felt compelled to do for safety's sake before, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, all my rituals and stuff. Yeah. I mean, God, I, I really don't think I should see you again. I, I, I'm, kind I'm coming of just, to that class. No, I mean, yeah. And I think that's kind of safe and that's a safe it's space. It's going to be great. I, I, I do you do I, one-on-ones? I don't. I okay, don't. Great. I don't. I don't. Uh, no, that's fine. I don't do that. I, I, I think just, that's better for you, for your safety. No, for sure. In general. I mean, yeah. I, it's I, like you don't want to put yourself in that position. Typically, I'm unless it's with a friend or a boyfriend. Typically, I'm teaching like you know young women, and I'm not really nervous about great what, what they're going to do to me or something. Else. Okay, sure, but you yeah. never know who's a predator. It could sure. be a woman. Lady predators could be a thing. Are you? Is that something you're paranoid about? Is that something? I'm not really. I'm not really. But it, now that I've thought of it, uh, it's only now just occurred to me that it's something to be afraid of. Um, and it could be like if there was like. Um, like an incredibly strong woman, you know, like uh, walking down the street towards me. I, I might cross the street. You know, if, if there was like a, a really tough looking lady, uh, I would I could feel threatened, you know, absolutely. God, my family's going to be so mad at me that I'm even considering this. I am, listen, I am happy to apologize to all of them. I owe them that. I mean, like, let's be honest. I punched your dad in the face. Well, yeah. Okay. But he said a bunch of stuff that I did not agree with racially speaking. Yeah, but it was not about you or nope, anything. No, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't. But you know what? Just like I felt like I had to stick up for you with Allison, I stuck up for you to your dad. Yeah. I mean, you know, my dad really hates you. My, mm-hmm. my whole family actually just thinks you're really a big piece of shit. And they have I, every reason to. Yeah. They have every reason to. But you, you're different now, right? I'm very different. I mean, I've got this podcast, which is great, huge. I mean, this is a this has changed my life. Yeah. Podcasts are the best. Well, Do you yeah. know, are you listening to podcasts? No, I don't really. I, okay. I just read, get I read the message boards for a lot of different podcasts. Yeah. And just like kind of get the gist of what sure. was talked about yep. and then, you know, go from there. Yeah, so. no, because that's where you can find out what's really going on in podcasts is when you read the the message board yeah. because the people that contribute to that are the people who understand it all the most and they're yeah. the people who really are pretty normal about yeah, it. Yeah yeah. 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 Well I feel like you know your fans and your followers and I, I are they fans? Is that well it's interesting because it's oh, like Oh they're you, fans. They're fans of the show. You would yeah because I mean you talk about relationships but you're not you're not really like you know like a celebrity or someone that no. people would fan girl about or something. Or fan guy. There's fan probably guy. lots of guys listening to the podcast trying to get their lives together, you know? Right. But I mean, you know, are you really like the person to be listening to about getting your life together? You know, you're someone who like... I'm a work in progress, Lulu. You know what I mean? I'm a work in progress and you, I'm letting you in to watch me progress towards love with maybe you, Lulu. But what about the girl you went on the date with? Oh, who, 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 who cares? You just said she was like, maybe you're going to be the love I know, of but life. that was before the Take Me Back segment. But... Uh, but imagine Lulu, her listening to this. And she's Lulu, gonna... she's a child. She's a child. It's irrelevant. You and I are like a match. You and I have a thing. Uh, yeah, it's not, you know, the way you're discarding her, someone you thought you might be in love with or on the way to love with, even though I don't believe you are. But, you know, the I way did tell you're... her I loved her. 
At the end of the date, I told her I loved her. I thought I, I said I thought five. I might like her, and I high fived her. You said you thought you might like her. I, <laughs> yes. And this is what okay. Word for word, this is what happened. I said I think I might really like you, and I went in for a kiss. She pulled away, which made me realize she doesn't want the kiss. So I pulled back. I said, I love you. And I gave her a high five. So, <laughs> you know, it's a series of events that doesn't exactly make sense. Emotionally, it makes sense in my mind why I did it. I think because she was withholding, it made me go in harder for it. Yeah. Uh, probably. Uh, but in, regardless, you know, like, I, I don't think it's love. But I'm willing to find out if it is. And, you know, you and I are just kind of getting back on track. So I feel like maybe I'll just date you both for a while and figure it out. Okay. Can I just say, like, you know, if we do happen to go out again and, like, and God, I mean, I must have, like, hit my head because I don't really know why I'm even agreeing to this. But, like, if we do go out again, you cannot profess any level of, like, love, anything to me. Just until, friends? Until, you know, a few months in. Sure. I don't want to hear – what you may or may not feel about me or think you might be able to feel One of the things that I have realized, it is not my job to smother someone else with my feelings. Okay? Good. Whether or not you, Lulu, are somebody that I am in love with and have been for years and want you to know that to Mm -hmm. a degree that is all you think about day and night, Mm -hmm. even if that's what I want, I don't need to put that on you. You you are, again, you are your own person. You know, and you can love me or not. I probably think you do, but you can love mm-hmm. me or not based on your feelings and your emotions, which are yours as an individual. See, it's different, right? That is different, but you did. And I haven't slept in my car in like eight months. Okay, good. But except, like- okay, no, except recently I did, but in the middle of the day. Why? Because I was someplace and I didn't have time to go anywhere. And so I took a nap in the car for six hours. That's a, that seems like you had time to go many places. It turns out I did. You know, like I didn't, I plan on sleeping six hours. I was only supposed to sleep an hour and then go to a meeting. And then I just slept for six hours. So I missed the meeting entirely. God, you're a mess. No, no, it was, it's great. It was the greatest. By the way, I woke up so refreshed. Oh, well, At good. 7P, very refreshed. Ready to hit the night. Well, okay, well, let's. And I was in Long Beach. Oh, great. At the airport. Why? Uh, I'd been there for something. Man, your life. I, I don't know. I I'll I want to take it very slow. Of course. Of I, course. I, very slow. I, like I said, like the relationship. Are you teaching a class with, tonight? Yeah, I am. Oh, great. I'll be there. Oh, okay. The, I, you know, you can wait. You know, you can come whenever. I teach many classes a day all week. Okay. You're right. You just said take it slowly. Yeah, please. Okay. So I'll be there tomorrow. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Yeah, it's probably better to have like a little time apart. You know? And you know what? I got to go and I got to buy some like yoga clothes, sure. right? You can get them at the studio. Oh, yeah? You guys sell yoga clothes? Yeah, wow. what I'm wearing now is from there. Okay. Well, I want boys clothes though. Right. I mean, we have Oh, you do? Men, yeah. Great. Yeah, unless you want to. Are there a lot of men in the class? Uh, you know, usually like uh, probably get about two guys. Okay, good. I just don't want like a bunch of guys in there. Why? I don't know. I get, I, I feel like I get competitive. Okay, well. You know, when I, and I don't do yoga, so they'll probably be better than me, and that's going to make me feel bad, and then I'm going to get angry. Yeah, I don't want that. No, I don't either. That's the, I want to show you my best side. So maybe if there's a class that's just all girls and me, that'd be great. If you can let me know when that is. It's hard to predict. People usually just kind of walk in. We don't really, you know, I don't know who's going to be there until it's Maybe time. I'll try and think of a time guys wouldn't want to go to yoga. And I'll maybe try and show up to one of those classes. Or maybe I'll show up, and if there's guys, too many guys, I'll set, I'll sit out. And then come to the next. You know what? I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. I'll see you. I don't want you to worry about it. This is, again, this is my issue right. and my stuff. And I don't want to put it on you just because, like, we are falling in love again. Oh, God. All right. Well, I want to say thank you to my guest, Lulu. Uh, this has been amazing. Yeah, it's This been has been really transformative good. for me. This is, I mean, really one of the best episodes of What Went Wrong yeah, no. uh, I've ever done. You're Who great. would know at 27 that we would get there, you know? No. But this might be the episode that turns it all around. Listeners, you were here. Yeah. Get on the boards. Talk about it. Oh, I'm what excited. did you think? I'm is Lulu your favorite? Vote her up, vote her down. Let's see what we think. <laughs> Thank you, Lulu. Thanks. You're the best. Thanks so much. Uh, we're coming back in a minute. Uh, We're going to do Q&As with Tracy Reardon. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Fans, you're the best. Kids? What's up, Mom? Yeah, Mom? What do you want for dinner? I want the same as always, kid food. Yeah, I want it hot. Too bad. You're both growing up this week. You're having adult food. How do you feel? More grown up, I guess. A little scared. Check your pants. 
You got your period. Oh my god, it's so flowy. My pants are totally filled with it. Adult food available now everywhere. It's a with special guest. Hello, Relap Guest. I try to get it. All right, here we are. We're back with uh, our segment called Help Me Rhonda, where we answer your love and dating questions. I've got a whole bunch of questions coming in. I've got my regular answer buddy, Tracy Reardon, who uh, works here at the station with me. Hey, Alex. How's it going, baby? It's going really good, baby. All right. Well, I got a lot of questions here because people are really horny and they need to figure out the love lives. They really, uh, they are, and we're here to help. Don't worry. Alex and Tracy have it covered. Okay, great. Well, this one comes from Blessed Little One at Skip Blumpo. His picture is like a guy with a scarf on his neck, oh no, a sweater on his neck standing in a field. Okay, cool. What are some good What's substances? in the field? Is it just like an empty field? It's a field with like trees in the background. Uh, I bet he's a dreamer. Yeah, he's got he's clouds on his head. That's what that picture tells me. He's a dreamer. Yeah, well, knowing that, um, what's what are some good substitutes for love and intimacy? Okay, Huh. Some good substitutes. That's interesting. Uh, blessed little one. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you feel like you have to like kind of rep- like in times when you don't have a relationship, like I'm I'm like kind of perpetually single, like I have to find ways to kind of like feel the intimacy and love within my own life. Like, sure. Um, you know, for me, like I'll eat a lot of ice cream or mm-hmm. like I'll eat a lot of gum. You know, in periods of my life, and I, you know, I don't want to say this as a recommendation, but I have turned to uh, like smoking a lot of weed yeah. when I don't have someone because that like a little bit takes me away from my own feelings of loss and sorrow. Yeah. Um, so that's one. I will say this though: uh, uh, get like a get a pet. You know, like you can have an intimate relationship with a dog or a cat, and that can make you feel when you come home like. Someone is there. Yeah, that's a really good idea. And if, like, you're someone who has, like, a really busy, busy schedule, you could make a pet out of, like, arts and crafts. Like or a, a digital pet. Oh, a digi pet, yeah. Yep. Like, you know, like, like something, that. I'm sure there's online pets that you can get obsessed with. That's another thing, online communities. Yeah, you get know, obsessed like that, with, like, an online community. Lose yourself in the relationships with people that you cannot physically be in touch with. You know, like, who's to say, are we limiting ourselves by saying our friends or our lovers are the people that are directly in our, our vicinity? No. Why couldn't you be best friends with, like— three people in Japan or or, yeah. or, or or Finland, you know, like who's to say where your next intimate relationship is going to come from. Seek it out online. Like seeks like. Yes. Ah, get lost. All right. This one comes from Blake Bishop at BRB shop. His picture is, oh, this is a great picture for you. It's a married couple kissing and he's next to them. Oh. Looking kind of sad. Like they, oh. were, they just got married and, and he's like. And Whoa. he's like, he's the, he's the, he's the schlub who's like, uh, uh, you know, on his own. He's like, I guess I'm just the best Let me see man. that picture again. Yeah. I just want to see if they're happy. Wow. They seem happy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, hmm. it didn't spin. That's okay. I, I got it. They, <laughs> they look very much in love. So it says, what's more important, being honest or having good hygiene? I don't have the energy for both. It seems like an interesting thing to kind of like have to choose between. Um, like being, what's good hygiene? Is this, is Blake, Blake, are you just like not brushing your teeth? Yeah, you need a shower. You need to brush your teeth. You need to brush your hair. And what, and how is honesty, like how is honesty related to this? What's more important, honesty or like those two things are not on the continuum next to each other. Yeah, you'd be like, what's more important, sleeping or having a friend? Like yeah. you need to, like that's You not, need to do both. Yeah. And, and both, actually, actually honesty and good hygiene are both, I would say, pillars of a strong, healthy, happy life. Yeah, I mean, I would say like. I'm worried about Blake Bishop. I think he should like be honest with himself that he's not having good enough hygiene and fix it. Yeah. Yeah, be, that's Tracy. Great advice to you, Blake Bishop. Be honest with yourself. Yeah, and and hose it down, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oof. And you know, like here's the. I'll say this too. Replace the picture on your on your thing oh, because that not, picture is yeah. screaming sad, lonely man. Yeah, it's really not. Making and now, money. and now we know it's a sad, lonely, smelly man. Yeah, stinky man. Yeah. change it up. You're gross. Oof. Get a. Get, get a, a life. Get a life, buddy. This one comes from Kyle Baker at Balky Week. His picture is a guy. In a wet light, kind of with a white thing on his nose. I don't really know what's going on. It's very dark. My girlfriend wants me to stop shopping at Spencer's Gifts and go to Old Navy. What should I do with my Spencer's gold card? I don't believe that's a real question. I don't think so either because— I don't think Spencer Gifts—those two stores sell 
Spencer, totally different name. S- Old Navy sells clothes. Spencer Gifts sells like nonsense tchotchkes. So she's like, stop buying your tchotchkes and go buy yourself She's clothes. like, I don't want you to buy any more like busty firefighter calendars. I want you to buy khakis. Like, this is a sham question. We should move on. Fuck you, Kyle Baker. Hey, I love that. And guys, listeners, here's the thing. We do this for you. So don't, don't inundate us with nonsense. We're here to like help you make your lives better. And if, by the way, if, by the way, your life, Kyle Baker, piece of shit, is spent vacillating between Spencer Gifts and Old Navy, like, your life is a lie. Like, spend your money and go respect yourself. Jesus Christ. Yeah, jeez. Well, I'm sorry. I got so fired, so fired up. up. Okay, this one comes from Baron Water Thief at B Water Thief. Uh, the picture is like a water person who's like a robot. I think you'll like this one. Okay. I love someone I'm not with. The day she gets married will be the best or worst day of my life. Is that hopeful or hopeless? It, oh, wow. I wish I could ask a follow-up question. Is she engaged to be married? Right, because like, do you mean it might be the best day of her life because you would marry her, or it might be the worst day of her life because she won't be marrying you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I'm not sure where this is going, but I'm assuming— that he's asking it when she gets married to someone else, will he be freed from this right. or will he, it be the worst? I'm, right. I'm, in, I'm thinking it's going to be the worst. If you love this person, I think you need to tell them Baron water thief. Yeah. Uh, very interesting last name um, that you are in love with them before they get married and let her either destroy her marriage uh, for you or destroy your life in person. But to sit and wait is no good. I agree. You need to just be honest. Um, there's no point in just trying to hurt yourself by kind of just secretly pining. Yeah. Well, this one comes from Wiki Witch at All Webs 92. His picture is a guy who's like, huh, how do I get the attention of a girl that's never met me and probably never will? Jeez. Oh, boy. That's, that sounds creepy. Yeah, it sounds like it's not going to work out for you. Um, I feel like you can't get her attention because she's never going to meet you. So if you're never going to meet her, why do yeah, you want to meet her? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, is the is the is the intimation that that be, he they will never meet because like she's like Ariana Grande, yeah. or is it like a do you like a girl who you work with or who you're in school with who you think just doesn't know you exist? In which, if it's the latter, introduce yourself. Yeah, walk up to her. Do the face you're doing in your in, in your avatar pic where you're just like, huh, and she'll probably want to know more about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I say good luck with that. Yeah, ugly. This one comes from Vape, da- Vape Dad Bod Doug at For Sure Not Doug. His picture is like a guy's feet that he took off his own body. I don't like feet. <laughs> I'm going to say this, Tracy. I don't like feet at all on anybody. I think feet are gross. Feet are nasty. Chop them off. Yep. Let's get rid of them. I say. Yep. Can Give you- us all Oscar Pistorius blades. Those are tight. Can you find love online? I think so. Lots yeah. of people seem to. Tracy, have you ever done online dating? Well, I'm too young. I'm you're only, single. Oh, how well, old are you? Well, I'm 17. People think I'm older because I'm really mature. Can you, and you've got all those earrings. Yeah. So I feel like that is the mark of like an older person. Yeah. Can you, and you, so you can't get online dating if you're 17? Is that too young? You know, I probably could make an account, but I feel like it's inappropriate because most of the people on there are going to be older than me. Yeah, and that's then true. And it could be like statutory. I get so that. So I'm not really interested in that. But um, I'm also nervous about meeting strangers on the internet. Um, I mostly meet people in my real life uh, yep. and get crushes on them and then kind of just, I kind of do the thing where I secretly pine. So I kind of was giving bad advice oh, like, I see. or advice that I'm not following. You got to like, you got to make a move. You yeah. got to make, you declare your feelings or, or, or at least try, you know? Really? I think so. That's my, that's my, I'm always, you know, listen, uh, you've listened to the show. I'm, I'm like, all I'm doing is being, uh, telling people incessantly that I'm in love with them, you know, whether they want to hear it or not. I love you. <laughs> Me? I love you. Oh. So, so what up? Oh, oh, um, what Tracy, I love that you are saying this, um, and I think it's great, but I think you might be too young for me. See? You are 17. See? But. What always happens. But, but, and I want this to be, I want this to land, okay? What? But that you said it is important, because you know what? You're not going to be destroyed by, by this, and it, you're going to see it doesn't, it's not that bad. I get rejected every freaking day of my life. 
Really? I'm putting myself out there constantly. But like with inappropriate choices, Tracy, if it's me, I'm like 43 years old. I love guys your age. Okay, but you're too young. Ugh. Even if I wanted to, even if I felt like there was some connection, that is, uh, you're too young. But I, I never get older. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I like, forgot that. How, you are perpetually like, this. So wait, how long have you been 17? That's what I mean. Like, like four years? As long as I know. Have you been 17 for I've been 17 at least probably four at least four years. years. So you're kind of 21, 22. See? That's interesting. Let's, let's keep having this dialogue. Okay, great. All right, cool. All right, do we have any more questions or are we... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we have time for one more. All right, let's, 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 let's crank it let's out. Let's get a really important one here. Uh, let's get a great question so we can really help these people figure out their stupid lives. Okay. This one comes from... Uh, K Thog at K Thog. Pictures like uh, two people in front of a big airplane. Oh boy. Alex, I love my girlfriend. How do I know that she's not a lizard person? Uh, I, I mean, I'm I'm just going to like off. Tell I'm just going to no, I'm just going to straight up answer, you won't know until the lizard uprising. You know, and until until they make themselves known, which, as we all know, is meant to happen in 2024, if you're to believe the prophecies, then we will find out who and who isn't the lizard. And you know what, Tracy, not for nothing, lizard people don't age. So uh, you are a prime candidate, madam, for a lizard person. Well, okay, but um, I'm really actually thinking more about your girlfriend that you mentioned in episode six. Um, Liza, who oh, we all all concerned yeah. about because of her eyes turning bright green whenever she was mad. Yes, which was very scary and like was very veiny. Yeah, she was like very vascular and uh, like her veins came out everywhere. Yeah, uh, that's a good call. I bet Liza is a lizard person. Yeah, and she never took off her underwear and you never saw the back of her. Yep. Yeah, that's true. So, that, ooh, I love this. I've had this theory going, and I, I put it on the boards. Okay. Well, yeah. I think that's a great last question. And, by the way, if you guys want to weigh in, go straight to the boards. This is episode 27. Lulu was the guest. I want to thank her for coming in earlier. She was absolutely fantastic. Tracy, what a great Help Me Rhonda segment. Thanks, man. I mean, the great questions. Cool. Great emotional availability from you. Thanks. I'm never going to stop thinking about it. Okay. and I And you know what? That's great because we should all be thinking about the people that we love or have loved so that we can understand and learn and grow. And that's what this show is about. And that's what I'm about. And that's what I want you fans to be about is figuring out your lives for the better. Learning from your mistakes and forcing yourself to not repeat them over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, this has been What Went Wrong, episode 27. I'm Alex Pappas. We're going to come back. In a couple of weeks, with a brand new episode, I've got a great guest lined up. Uh, I think you're going to really love it. I don't want to spoil who it is, but I dated her for a year and a half in high school. She dumped me. It was bad. It was real bad. Becca? <laughs> Tracy! Sorry! Tracy, come on! Okay, Becca's going to be here in two weeks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Get to the boards. 